In this video, we will explore the user interface of a light motion app. So here is the light motion app open on my phone. You can see there's different tabs at the bottom here. And by default, you will always be on this home tab. And in this home tab, you'll find different news, updates, release notes, and different videos from the light motion team itself. And on the second tab, which is the tutorials tab here you will find very basic tutorials just to get started and then the third tab is to create a new project and we will be coming to this again and then this tab is the projects tab here you'll find all your existing projects over here and then we have this templates tab which we'll be covering on a later video so to create a new project we need to tap on this plus icon and then here is the menu option over here so you can create a new product and you can also create a new element so i'm going to be covering elements later but for now let's go ahead and tap on the projects tab and over here let's go ahead and very quickly we're going to rename this project so i'm going to call this as my first project and then over here you can select vertical aspect ratio you can also select custom aspect ratio you can type your own numbers over here but for now i'm gonna select this one by one aspect ratio and then on the resolution you can select you can go from you know 1080p to 4k resolution okay so depending upon your device you may be limited to 1080p and if your device supports you can also see this 4k but for now i'm going to select this 1080p resolution and then the frame rate you can select from 12 fps to 60 frames per second so i'm going to select 30 frames per second and then background you can select default background colors over here there's a few default over here however you can create your own you know default colors so we're going to be covering that later but for now let's go ahead and select this light gray and then tap on this create project to create a new project so here we have a blank brand new project over here all right so with the name my first product so this area is called as the preview and down here this area is the timeline so to add anything to our project or to this preview we need to tap on this plus icon or the add icon over here so let's go ahead and say tab and here we have a menu system over here so first is the shape section here you can find a different kinds of shape that comes with a light motion app itself okay and then the second tab is the media tab here you can browse all the photos and videos available on your device and then the third is the audio and you can add audios from here and then we have the object and elements tab here you can add camera animation to your project and you are really gonna love it it's really interesting in a light motion or light and there's a lot more tabs over here so we're gonna be covering everything in detail in this course later in this course but for now i'm gonna go to this shape section and let's go ahead and add some some shapes to our project so let's go ahead and tap this circle and you can see here a light motion has added a circle to this preview or to our project with a random color and as soon as you add something there will also be a layer added to our timeline with a default name circle one and the total duration of this timeline is two seconds so if i tap on this arrow back arrow i can go to the beginning over here and now if i want to get rid of this menu system and want to see that add icon again i need to tap on a blank space somewhere here so let's tap and we can again see this plus icon so let's tap here to add another circle so i'm gonna tap one more circle over here so you can see a light motion has added another circle with a random color okay we can always change the color so we're gonna do it later but you can see the circle name has now changed the rear it was circle one now it is circle two so to delete this layer i'm going to tap on this layer and then go over here tap on this delete icon to let to delete that layer so we now have circle one 
so i'm going to tap on the circle one layer and go on to top over here to rename this so i'm going to call this as let's call this as c1 very short name all right so you can see here this project is of two seconds over here and also if i go over here onto the settings icon over here you can see here the project we can again see the information of this project which is 1080p and then frame rate is 30 frames per second that means there are 30 frames per second okay so over here the timeline is of two seconds okay so this is two seconds and in this two seconds you can see here these are the frame count so you can see here right now at zero as we move on the timeline you can see the frame count changing 7 8 and it goes changing you can see here as it goes 27 28 29 so as we move the next frame which is 30 frame it will become one second so after 29 it becomes one second because in one second there is 30 frames because this project is of 30 frames per second so similarly if i move further on the timeline you can see here as it moves further at 27 28 29 and then it becomes 2 because this is another 30 frames that makes it 2 seconds so by default you will have 2 seconds of layers added to the timeline so if I tap over here and add a rectangle over here you can see here it is 2 seconds but we can change this default I'm going to delete this and I'm going to tap on this back icon over here and then over here there is a menu icon over here so let's tap on this menu so this is a settings menu project settings icon so over here you can see the default layer duration is 2 seconds so now i'm going to change this to four seconds okay and then if i come back to our project so this is the project that we just created so i'm going to tap on this project to open it so now if i tap on this add icon and then if i add any shape let's go ahead and add this rectangle to this project you can see here a light motion has added a rectangle shape with a default color with a default name called rectangle one but this time this is not two seconds but it's gonna be four seconds the length of this layer is four seconds so let's go ahead come here and let's go ahead insert this you know you can see here this is a microphone studio microphone added to a project okay and now let's tap and then i'm gonna go here to media section again i'm gonna add another image let's add this headphone over here so i'm gonna tap on this headphone you can see this headphone is a png image which has a transparent background you can see through this headphone and we can also see our microphone here and the total length is again four seconds okay now let's go ahead and add some video to our project so i'm going to tap on the add icon again and go to media and then i'm going to add a video to our preview so let's tap so you can see here a video layer has now been added to our preview and you can see the total length of this video is 6 seconds and 29 frames so it is not 2 seconds or 4 seconds so whenever a video layer is added so it will be the original length of that video file itself now if i give it a play let's go ahead and tap on this play icon over here you can see here it's gonna play the video file and then it's gonna stop at six seconds and 29 28 frames so now you can see here there is a play icon over here if you long press on this play icon it's gonna turn into a loop okay so now you can see the video file if i give it a play from here maybe from the beginning if i give it a play you can see here it's going to play the video over here but it will not stop at the end but it will now looping the video okay so if you don't want this loop so what we can do is long press on this play icon over here and then you will see that that loop icon has now disappeared but it's a simple play button over here okay so now let's understand the layer system in the timeline so you can see here we have one two three four five layers in this project and then over here these are the layers and these are the thumbnails you can see here this is a circle layer but you cannot see here 
so let's go ahead and first of all hide these layers so you can see these are icons eye icons over here and if i tap over here you can see here that layer has now been hidden and if i tap again it brings it back so i'm gonna hide this for now and then you can see here these are the thumbnails represents all the layers so this is the circle layer which is a circle this color and then we have a, a rectangle layer which is of this color and then whatever is the layer that brings that colors and brings a thumbnail and gives you a kind of an idea of what exactly these layers are about on these thumbnails so these are very handy so i'm gonna unhide this video layer over here you can see there is a hamburger icon onto the right of every layer so i'm gonna long press on this hamburger icon on this video file video layer so i'm gonna long press you can see here as soon as a long press this layer will get darkened so when it gets dark and it means i can move it up or down well i can move it up or down so i'm gonna bring it to the bottom of the layer system over here so you can see here the video file has now been pushed to the bottom over here then next what i'm gonna do is let's go ahead and bring this circle over here the circle c1 i'm gonna bring it on to the top you can see the circle has now been put at the top of the layer and then there is a rectangle over here so i'm going to long press on this hamburger icon and then bring it just below the circle over here now i can tap on this rectangle layer and you can see the rectangle is now selected on this preview so with my finger directly on this preview not on the the shape but outside the shape on the preview i can just place it somewhere wherever i want and i'm gonna tap on this layer again this circle layer and then with my finger on this preview i can place it wherever i walk in and then if i want i can also go ahead and tap on this the microphone layer and then i can place it perhaps maybe wherever i want let's say go ahead and place it over here so you can see here we have different layers in this timeline and this is how we arrange so in in our next video we're going to learn how to do basic editing in a light motion and so i will see you in the next video